morning and welcome to this training 20. We have got a strength session today. We're going to get warmed up straight away. <clears throat> so bring this up into some core twists first. Yeah, single leg strength is what we're focusing on. So today we've got six exercises that, will, that will, I consider will give you a good platform if you've got no kit at home to work with and to include into your workouts. It will cover pretty much everything you need to when it comes to single leg strength. We're going to go side leans. So some of these exercises may be quite difficult, but you've just got to build into them, you've got to work on them. Um, obviously I'm doing it with no kit, um, we're going to some squats. Doing it with no kit, so some kit will be very useful, like a TRX to help balance and stuff to make things easier. But you can work on these at home, you just have to take your time if you struggle with getting into the right depth or the strength of the single leg. So it does take time to build these things up. But these six exercises will be a great start for you to try and build up some single leg strength or to include into your workouts to continue to build single leg strength. Whilst you haven't got access to the gym, you're going to arch around the back. Yeah, we're going to cover all bases with these six exercises. They all have a different focus. We're going to a strider stretch. Arm reach through and arm reach up. Four on this side. And then we'll swap it over. Four on the other. Reach. Knee rolls. And then finally, in some glute bridges. And we're gonna get straight into it. So I want you to work with me through these. We're gonna do three at a time. So first three is a step up. First one of the three is a step up. So level one, using those toes behind you in this kneeling position, just stepping up. The, the harder you want to make it, the more you focus on this leg. The more you need to, you use this back leg to help push up. So you can really use that back leg a lot, make it quite easy, a lot easier. Or you can try and put all your weight on this front leg, try not to use that back leg at all. And then for level two, we're lifting this foot up. We're gonna go eight on each side, uh, sorry, six on each side. So level two will be with the foot up like so, with no assistance from that back leg, okay? That's tough, so build yourself into that one, start with level one if you struggle. But six on each side, join in with me, off we go. One, nice control down. So whether you're doing level one or level two, control that way down, okay? Two, and control down. The descent is so much, is just as important as the drive up, okay? So three, and if you're on level one, control that movement nice and slow, like so. And if you're on level two, number four, control it slow with your foot off the floor. Five, six, control down, swap sides, really focus on that eccentric phase, the downward phase, okay? So here we go. One, two, again, use that back foot as much as you need to. Three, but if you can, level two like me, with the foot off. Four, nice and controlled down. That's the key. Really slow the movement down, especially on the way down. Five, I think that's five. Six and control down. Cool, bring it straight down. Single leg glute bridge. So we're gonna be working this on Friday, but for now, just looking for the heel nice and close to the bum. Core strong, tuck the hips up, 
driving through the heel. That's level two. That's level three. Level two would be a staggered. So you're using that leg to assist, but not fully um, help. And this, so this one's doing most of the work. Or level one would be just your single, uh, your normal glute bridge pit. We've got eight on each side here. So choose your level and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, seven, controlling this way down, not just dropping. Eight, everything is controlled in these strength workouts. One, two, yeah, my downward phase is, if anything, slower by my upward phase. That's what we're looking for. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going into calf raises. So if you can use a wall, then great. You can do it just standing. You can do it with one hand assisted, just standing. I recommend using a wall. Don't push off the wall, just use it as balance. You're on here and you're raising up. Big squeeze and control down. You're in eight reps here. Up and down. Now you can do this on a step so that your heel goes lower than your toes. So you sink down and then back up like so. So you're causing more of a movement. I can show you that on the second set. Five. Again, focus on that control down phase six, seven, big squeeze and hold at the top, eight, swap sides, same here, one, two, three, four, five, nice control, six, Seven, eight, cool, nice. Straight back to those step ups. Here we go. So lean forward, foot off if you can. One, control down. Two, three. What you want to focus on here to keep it going is keep this knee out. Don't let the knee cave in like we've talked about before. Four. Five. If you feel that knee constantly caving in, six. And you may be losing your boots. So working on that this Friday and last Friday may help you. Also check out the functional squat session that I did to control this movement down. Three. Four. Five, six. Into your glute bridges, choose one of the three levels, and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and then we'll swap it over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going into those calf raises. I'm going to show you just one hand on the wall, big hold at the top, and control down. One, two, then eight on each side. Time it with me if you can. Four, five. There's a lot of talk around calves in terms of training them. Now, if you're trying to train them to make them really big, hypertrophy, get some muscle there. And 
you're going to struggle to make a lot of progress. Um, it's tough to build up big carbs. That doesn't mean we should ignore them. They are obviously a big part of the legs. So if your calves are cramping when you're running or just a weak part of the system, when you're trying to perform exercises, then it can take away from the exercise in total. So what we want to do is make sure our calves are trained enough to sustain things like running and squats and hamstring curls, especially a lot of people get cramp on hamstring curls. So don't train for size, train for strength of the calves. That's eight there. Cool. So looking at the time, we're going to go into the second set and then we may run through all six if we have time. I want to get into these second three as well. So we're going to go side squats next. So when you're standing to the side here, if you struggle with these, then you're going to step, you're going to sink down and touch your toe and then back up. That's, that's a great movement to learn. The key here is when you step and you sink back, the other knee does go over the toes, but I'm reaching down towards and my bum's going back. You've got to sit into that squat, keeping the heel down. Sitting down, keeping your tripod foot like always, and back up. Um, once you've built that technique up, you want to keep your chest up more and sit deeper into a squat, as deep as you can, with control, like so. But that takes time and work, so that's level one and level two. Reaches for level one, squat, just full on upright squats for level two. Here we go, we're going to six on each side. One, two, then I'm controlling this way down as well. Three, I make the step, and I'm gradually sinking down. Four, and I drive up. Five, six. Don't worry about how low you're getting. That's something you just build on. Like, Trying to work up the weights on the dumbbells rack. You've got to build on your deck. If you're getting frustrated that you can't get as low as you'd like, just give it time and persist with it. As long as you've got the right form and you perform it regularly, it should get better. Four. Five, six, into these single leg deadlifts. So again, knee doesn't cave in when you perform these. Bring one leg off, reaching down, hinging like so. I'm gonna show you from the side, the three levels. Level three is that single leg, up and down, hinging from the hips. No matter what, we're hinging from the hips. Level two, is staggered like so. Down we go, hinging from the hips here. And if you're really struggling, you're just going to double up the numbers and do doubles, practicing that hip hinge like so. Okay, so choose your level. We're going eight on each side here when you're ready. One, control the movement. Two, keep the knee out. Two. Three, four, take your time, five, six, seven, eight, swap sides, nice control, see how the knee stays out, it will waver from balance, but keeping that strong position at all times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're into a glute kneeling side lift, so we've got one knee, let's put both knees down, you're going to put one hand to the side 
directly to the side. The opposite leg goes out, hand on your hip. We did this one in the glute activation one. Lifting up, one, like so. We're gonna do eight reps, you ready? So one, two, three, nice control, bringing it here, four, five, control the way down as well, six, seven, eight, swap sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're gonna go back through them. We're back into our side squats. Take your time, nice big step. Sinking that bum back and back up we go. I'll show you from this side. Do this set. Two, nice control. Three, try and keep your chest up if you're going for the advanced option. Use your hands to balance. Four. Five. Six. Swap it over. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go. Cool. Single leg deadlifts. Tough one to start with that staggered or the doubles. Balance is key. If you're losing it every single rep, you're probably not getting much out of it. So make sure you're hinging from the hips. That's the key. It's all from here. It's all from this hip hinge. Like we've worked on before, you can visit the hip hinge or deadlift videos that I did. If you're really struggling. Two more. You just gotta think, you can't see moving from your hips. That, using that hinge, and then think of your head and your toe like a pendulum. As one goes up, the other one kind of does the opposite, it goes down. So watch my head and my toe. As the one goes up, they stay connected. Common mistake, losing balance, is leaving your leg too low down here and it throws you up and causes you to round. So I'm gonna do two more. Nice control here. And then finally, into our side kneeling glute lifts again. Kneeling, hand down to the side, lift out, controlled, eight on each side here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, right, so we're pretty much at 20 past there. We're just gonna hit a quick stretch. So sit back on these knees. So there you have it, there's six exercises. We only managed two rounds, but that's fine because one is to take the time to get the form right when you're doing strength. So take your time with those. Add them into your workouts to help build single leg strength. Um, if you have any uh, issues with any of them and you just struggled with performing them, then give me a shout. But otherwise, yeah, really good six exercises there to help the lower body and building up your single leg strength is key for a lot of things.
So I hope you enjoyed that one. And then tomorrow we have a conditioning for the upper body. So upper body conditioning tomorrow. I'll see you then.